A massive Hellmouth crater has opened up in Siberia, and it reveals a lost frozen world that's a glimpse into what life used to be like on Earth. I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about this exciting discovery right now on IO. Hey there science potatoes, welcome back to IO. I'm Charlotte, here to give you your daily dose of amazing information. All right. Let's talk about this big hole. Near the Yana River Basin, there's a huge tadpole shaped crater known to the locals as the Doorway to the Underworld. And it's been created by melting permafrost in the Siberian landscape. It is 1 kilometer wide or 0.6 miles, 280 feet deep, and it's getting bigger every year. This makes it the biggest mega slump crater of its kind. The melting permafrost turned the surface into slush, and rising temperatures are causing a number of these gigantic holes to open up. One of the types of permafrost is from glacier ice left over from the last ice age. As the ice keeps melting, it grows anywhere from 33 to 99 feet every year. Crazy enough, it's also releasing extra greenhouse gases into the environment as the ground collapses around the crater. This big hellmouth crater isn't all bad though. It gives us a glimpse into how our world once looked, and what previous climates were like. It's actually led to the discovery of animal bodies and petrified forests that were long buried beneath the surface. Remains of a musk ox, a 4,400 year old horse, and an ancient mammoth were found here. So how did this thing come to be? Well, there was a lot of deforestation in the 1960s, which meant that the ground was exposed and no longer shaded by trees in the summer. The ground then warmed up and the soil above the permafrost got warm, and then eventually the permafrost got warm and it melted. Using the newly exposed ground, scientists have found layers of pollen and tree stumps. This means that the land used to be covered in a dense forest. The exposed layers of vegetation is actually a record of geological history. By using the record of vegetation and the animal carcasses, researchers can make a record of climate change that dates back 10,000 years. One study found that using the layers now exposed could reveal 200,000 years of climactic history. During that time frame, Earth's climate has fluctuated from warm periods to cold periods several times. 125 years ago, for example, the climate was significantly warmer than it is now, by a few degrees or so. If we can understand what the ecosystem was like then, that might give us an idea how the environment will change now that it is warming again. By looking at what's happened in the past, researchers will be able to predict what happens in the future when it comes to climate change. Ok guys, it's time to respond to some comments. In a video about NASA discovering a ninth planet, we asked you guys what you thought the name of the planet should be. Here were some of the best responses. Isaac Williams said, I would call the planet, Planet Overload. That's a good one. Gold star for you Isaac. Not Ching Yi said, Planet 9. <laughs> I get it, like 9, like 9, but also 9 means no in German. Good one. Gold star for you too. Sarah Quintero said, I'd call it Planet Trump so we have a reason to blow it up. Wow. Well, that escalated quickly. No gold star for you, Sarah. Ok, you can have one, but that doesn't mean I condone violence against Trump. I just think that's a creative response. No hate. Ok guys, that is all for now. Thanks for watching IO, and if you want to keep watching, click one of these two videos right over here.